Hello guys, um, this is Prince of Troy here, um, I'm going to be doing a let's play of Constantine and Rise of Christianity, um, I really like this mod because I really like the time period of the Roman Empire that it takes place in, um, I'm going to look. Factions for you here, just in case if you were wondering what they are. Um, there's the empire is split up into four parts. Um, the one in looks like Northern Africa, Libya, Sicily, Sorosica, or Corsica, and uh, Italy and Italy this is some kind of uh, is under Maxentius and Augustus. kind of upstarted a couple of years before this but he kind of really brought it into the empire and after he conquered the rest of the other four parts or the other four leaders of of the empire um, he made uh, Christianity the um, the official faith of the Roman Empire and replaced paganism and for Britannic tribes, they're the Picts. And for African kingdoms, there's the Garmatian kingdom. And the Raven kingdoms, there's Kindal. And the Nomadic tribes, there are the Huns. Um, we'll be doing Maximus, Maximinius, Dea, Augustus. Um, mainly because. There's a lot of fine goods, so I'll be getting more income to trade. So I'm going to be playing as them, and also later uh, I'm going to go against assassins and see how I can do against them. I've already played as uh, Constantine, and it was uh, it was hard because I had to go against all the goth I had to go against the Goths and the Lombards.
cannot seem to find it. Yeah, that's strange. Oh well, I'll just have to find some other way to keep track of time. Epic picture of Hannibal. Through my options, my graphics set down to high so that way um, I'll have a lag or a lag for a game for you guys. war against assassinates first turn I'm not at war with them at the moment but I will have to here we have a nice little army this is Maximus de Augustus here in Antioch Add on to this army here. And then we will be going and hitting Edessa. Um, here I'm going on the edge of the This border. tab shows all the units or ships available for recruitment and just here to keep the peace. We hunger for battle. Also, this piece cannot move any further now. It will be available again next turn. Soldiering. It's a good life. Keep crossing. And we have more than enough money, as you can see. We are making 6800 per turn. That is why I decided to play. A province consists of up to four regions, each one containing a settlement, the hub of activity within it. I do not, I sadly do not have enough money to um, really expand anything here in Egypt, so that's what I'm probably going to do next turn with my income to that. This tab power. enables you to research the technology that, kind of that will give you an advantage over your rivals. To begin, simply select the item you wish to research. There are no buildings required in order to do this, although there are some buildings that require certain technologies before they can be constructed. Mouse over a technology for a short description, details of effects,
In order to move the entire force, in order to construct a proposal, double-click on a faction from the list and then add diplomatic options by clicking on the Add Offer or Demand buttons and selecting one. The proposed deal will take shape on the negotiation table. This option is used to broker trade agreements. Once agreed, a trade route is opened between your territory and that of your trade partner, enabling goods to be traded for mutual advantage and profit. There is no limit to the number of trade routes a faction can have. You present honest terms that I accept and will present. Do not wander in like a desert beggar. You present honest terms that I accept. Speak your terms. Give words plentiful haste. Other business. Speak your terms. Give words plentiful. I guess it's because they also have certain. Uh... In my lord's name, may the gods bless you so many. They will not want to trade with me. Be welcome here and speak as you wish. I can settle on the. 6,800 at the beginning. Now I am making 10,700. So. That's, as you can see, that is why I'm playing as this faction. You know, I'll be able to have enough large armies going around and conquering the east, and then I will hopefully launch an um, invasion of probably Greece and then maybe Italy. I don't want really a very long let's play. I have so much other ideas that I would like to do for you guys. On the I propose a simple treaty the between treaty equals treaty and friends. All that way, my border there is safe from attack. Some factions that really aren't well done. You've recruited a unit to your army. Okay, I guess it's kind of one thing I do not like about this mod. It still needs a little work. Um, see power increases, so does the need to develop your military capabilities and civic infrastructure, which is the greater influence to your people. Um, civic development. Um, it looks like they need. Farms, ma. Well, looks like also these people need to come to the ground because they are very cover quarters. Very low. Here I'll be building. Um. At your command. It looks like they need playgrounds as well. Very much public order going on here. Troops can be stationed inside a settlement to defend it in the event of attack. Whilst there, they will also act as a deterrent to any rebellious tendencies amongst the population. Yeah, another one. Building a lot of concentrated grounds here, guys. Looks like we have quite a nice little army here in uh, Nicomedia. Probably 
two armies at a time to deal with the Sassanids. Ready for orders. I'll probably start recruiting here. And we'll take this army. We'll probably head to Dura and take out them. And then from there we'll take the army out of Antioch and take Odessa. And we're kind of just going to take out the Sassanids. And then we might swing around and have an army up here come down and take out Armenia. Which Armenia shouldn't really be a problem. And um, yeah, guys, it looks like that is another turn out of the way. Um, I actually just watched a documentary on the History Channel about Constantine, and it's a really interesting time period due to the fact that out of the four parts of um, the Roman Empire at the time that was split up, um, what was weird is he was the only one that uh, adopted Christianity, and when he restored the empire that's when they that's when he split it between his two sons I am not um, I do not know their names but he split into the Western and the Eastern Roman Empire um, that's when they officially became two different parts um, of the Roman Empire which is you know later on the Western part was just fell apart and the Eastern part turned into the Byzantine and um, it looks like this turn is. Um, when unhappy, and, um, this army is ready. We will keep it in the city. Do punch. No, we will move it to the border here, and we will put it in right in the front of this bridge. You have selected a character belonging to another faction that you cannot control. Please select one of your own to learn more about their ability. Then we're going to start recruiting an army here in Palmyra. We hunger for battle. I might spend maybe even all this money building up. Build six legionaries for Hillman. Four missile troops. And it looks like we need better. Ooh. We're gonna recruit auxiliary cataphracts. No! If we recruit this, so I'm gonna be building that. Or if we build that. So uh, I'll just recruit mercenaries. And then I'll recruit some mercenaries whenever we can come by some uh, good cavalry so five turns that army will be ready to go and in five turns it looks like we'll be marching against the assassinates um, I'll be moving my spy spies are way. subterfuge experts recruited via the higher the agents button when a settlement is selected they can be recruited anywhere in your empire and are invisible to the enemy until detected. Spies are vulnerable to champions and exceptionally effective against dignitaries. It looks like up here we can recruit. We can recruit. Leave cataphracts. I thought go down here. That is tier three being built, but there's a tier three up here, but it's not letting me recruit Commander. cataphracts. That is weird. Gladiators, some cohorts, Pretori. We'll have two Sign of them. Lads for a good and glorious life. Yes. And then we'll have six of these. We'll probably have two of those. Or maybe two of the spears. And then we might have 
Where are my two get, get two gladiators? Four of those, and we'll get some missile troops, and we'll have yet another third army going against the Sassanids. I'm gonna kind of do a blitzkrieg type um, attack on the Sassanids because they don't have any quality troops. They just have a lot of troops. So, say one time I played, I tested this out, and I did a campaign of the faction that I'm doing now, the eastern part of the Roman Empire, and um, I was in a town, I think it was, uh, it's not Odessa, it was the one after that, but anyway, I had a full stack in there, they attacked me with five full stacks of just eastern spearmen, I mean, they didn't have really any just a lot of levies and somehow my men just started to rout and I lost. Um, I think I lost because somehow a couple of their Parthian, they had a couple of Parthian units or Persian swordsman units and they... Uh, Congratulations, you've constructed your first building. Uh, right here I'll be a building uh, trader. And it looks like it'll be minus four public order, but we are minus four public order here without any armies in here. So I think we can deal with it. So here we have an army as well. We can just go over right here. We have an army. We can just give them. Three. This panel is used we to manually here. merge oh, armies or fleets in order to assemble the strongest possible force. Click on the unit or ship you wish to move, then click on the tick button to move it from one force to another. It is possible to select several units or ships at a time. So four turns, that army will be recruited. So that's good. Uh, Maxentius or Maximinius. Um, I'll send my spy up here, Maximinius. Let's take out Odessa, as I said. Um, we hunger for battle. I don't know. Aulus Abustus will take Dura. No wait, this guy is Saturnin Saturninus. Saturninus. I was reading this, but I guess that's that's also something I don't like about this mod that the factions are named after their leaders. And it's just kind of stupid. That's one thing I definitely do not like. Um Oh wait, I get, I get it, because the cataphracts were recruited here, but I guess they're not a local unit that can be recruited up here, so that kind of makes sense, that's why. That's your command. So four turns, and it looks like our army is ready for battle. I was having troubles um, playing or recording, fra recording me playing this with fraps. It was just, it would, it would cut off the videos at 28 seconds even every time, and it was just not working for me. So I had to, I had to go get a. Um, I had to get that fixed. Um, looks like. I will break the alliance because I don't want to go with the Sassanids. Go to war with the Sassanids just yet. Did I just get attacked by the Greek, uh, the Roman part of the empire in Greece? I think I did because you can see it's a little smoky right there. So I'm gonna have to get that checked out after my turn comes up. 
they did, that's going to kind of screw up my plans. I might have to send a couple of my armies over here and deal with them. Following a new agreement, a trade route has been opened between you and your new trading partner. Guard it well, as your enemies will attempt to raid it, potentially ruining your economy. And it looks like yet another turn. I Armenia is at war with assassins now. So yet another turn is gone. Hopefully soon I will be able to show you guys a battle. I might move in. I might declare war against assassinates early just so you guys can see a battle um, this mod really is not shown anywhere on YouTube I think I've only found like two let's plays of it um, which I can see why I mean because the faction names aren't, uh, aren't where I'd like them to be um, but, I mean, still overall, I think it's still, it's still an okay mod, or I, I like the mod. I think it's still a good mod. It just has its faults. Constantine will probably take out Italy and all of the Maxentius faction, and I will... I'll just take out the East, honestly. I'll let the other other three fight amongst themselves. And you know, maybe I'll go against Long-standing uh, trade partners develop a healthy respect for each other, reflected by increased income. Well, increased in rank. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and um go to war. Um, they're at war with a lot of people. So, I mean, Winning a battle isn't a just about greater numbers. The balance of units and the general's ability are important factors also. Look at the strength ratio and any reinforcement information before committing yourself. But beware, if you are attacked, it may not be possible. you would expect to see which in a moment I should be able to show you what I'm talking about I'm with these two Syrian auxiliary uh, archer units should come in very useful Time period that you not long, no longer use 
use the Gladius, they use the Spatha. And they use either scale or chainmail armor and have those oval auxiliary shields that you can usually see. Here's the cohorts. Pretty much the same. Legionaries! cohorts. Not very much variety. We are at your command. Ready to rise. All right. Orders, my so. lord. He's setting up an army here. The cavalry over here. My infantry line. Take time to explore the battle user interface. Press buttons and click on graphics for details of their function. Further information is available through tooltips when mousing over an item or from the encyclopedia. Legionaries! It may be beneath my dignity to say this, but God's above! Our foes are simpletons and bumpkins! Pressing this button cancels orders and makes selected units or ships stop where they are. This is a quicker alternative to giving them a different order.
guys, there is the victory. That's the battle. Just Harrison, they can't run anywhere, so they are all dead. Um, I lost 26 men, and they lost 1,000 men, so... Really, I don't think this war with assassins is going to be very much of a problem. Um, one of my Persian auxiliary 